Hey everyone, I hope you are all fine. I know it's been a really long time and I couldn't uh, upload new video. I was uh, working as a full-time teacher also. I was doing my master on uh, teaching Turkish as a foreign language. Uh, I've been doing it still. Uh, so it was really busy uh, term for me so I couldn't have any time to produce new videos uh, here on YouTube but now finally I am a little bit free so I decided to go on with my uh, lessons here on YouTube so today's lesson is about uh, the usage of key one of the usage uh, usages of a uh, key which is uh, like a possessive pronoun you will see what I mean uh, with the examples now we use the word I mean the suffix key in different uh, places, in different forms, in different um, purposes uh, but today you will see it as a part of possessive pronouns in Turkish, okay? So that, without further ado, let's uh, get started, you will understand what I mean a possessive pronouns in English like mine, yours, ours, theirs like this okay so we will uh, learn the same things in Turkish now I'm writing the possessive pronouns in Turkish benimki I hope my handwriting is clear and seninki onunki mine yours and it's hers or his, okay? Benimki, seninki, onunki. Benimki, mine. Seninki, yours. Onunki, it's or hers or his, okay? And then, bizimki, ours. Sizinki, yours as a pl in as a plural form uh, and onlarınki bizimki ours sizinki yours as plural onlarınki theirs okay let's repeat it tekrar edelim benimki mine seninki yours Onunki, it's or hers or his, okay? Bizimki, ours, sizinki, yours, onlarınki, theirs, okay? So, let's see some uh, basic examples with the words, with the other words as a phrase and then I will give you some uh, example sentences, okay? So, here are the phrases. Benim kitabım. Senin çantan onun yüzü. Benim kitabım. Senin çantan onun yüzü. Now let's start with the first one. Benim kitabım. First our word is kitap. Okay, kitap. Benim kitabım. My book. Our word is kitap. Okay. Benim kitabım. My book. So. For example, in a context, in a sentence, you are talking about your book and instead of repeating benim kitabım, benim kitabım every time, you just say mine, depending on the context. And when you want to say mine in Turkish, you say benimki. This is exactly benimki. Okay? When you are talking about your book, like when you want to say benim kitabım, you mean benimki. Okay? It's like mine. It's mine. O benimki. Okay? It's mine. Benimki. So, senin çantan, your bag. Okay? Çanta means bag here. So, senin çantan. Senin çantan. So when you are talking about the phrase senin çantan, you say seninki instead of saying senin çantan, okay? When you don't want to repeat it, okay? Seninki. 
senin çantan, which is seninki, okay? Onun yüzü, onun yüzü, onun yüzü. So this is yüzük. This is actually yüzük, okay? It means ring, okay? Ring, ring, okay? So onun yüzü, which is onun ki actually when you are repeating it again when you are repeating you say onun ki okay so we know the function of possessive pronouns it is basically the same meaning but you don't repeat the word again and again like benim kitabım instead of you say benim ki we know that the speaker knows that the other listener know that knows that you are talking about your book when you say benim ki okay benim kitabım it means benim ki okay senin çanta senin ki it means it indicates that you are talking about your bag okay onun yüzü onun ki Okay, so I hope it's clear. Now let's see them in the sentences. So the first sentence is Benim kitabım kalın seninki ince. Benim kitabım kalın seninki ince. Benim kitabım kalın. Kitap means book, you know. Benim kitabım kalın. Kalın means thick, okay? Benim kitabım kalın. Seninki ince. So ince means thin. Okay? Kalın ince. Benim kitabım kalın seninki ince. So in this so in this sentence I am talking about my book first. Okay? I say benim kitabım kalın. Okay? So I have already talked about the book. Okay? We are talking about the books. My book and yours. So instead of saying Benim kitabım kalın, senin kitabın ince. Uh, not to repeat the same word, the word kitab, we say seninki ince. Okay, so here seninki actually means senin kitabın. So here the function of ki is like this. This ki serves as a possessive pronoun suffix. Okay, seninki ince. Benim kitabım kalın. Seninki ince. Ya da senin kitabın ince. It is correct. It's not wrong. Just I am telling that we use this form of possessive pronoun not to repeat the same word again and again. Benim kitabım kalın. Seninki ince. Yours is thin. Okay. Benim kitabım kalın, seninki ince. So let's see another example now. Evet, diğer bir örnek. Another example. Senin çantan mavi, benimki yeşil. Senin çantan mavi, benimki yeşil. So, senin çantan, your bag, çantan, okay? Çanta, here it means bag. I have already told it. Senin çantan mavi. It's blue. Your bag is blue. Benimki. Mine is green. Yeşil. Benimki yeşil. Senin çantan mavi. Benimki yeşil. So, as I told you before, the function of the word here, benimki, it means that benim çantam. Okay? It is actually, actually benim çanta. In this sentence first I talked about you, okay? And then I talk about myself, okay? I talk about my bag. But I don't repeat it. Instead of I say benim ki, which means actually benim çanta. This indicates that I talk about my bag, okay? Senin çantan mavi. Senin çantan mavi. Benimki yeşil. Senin çantan 
mavi, benimki yeşil. Or it could be senin çantan mavi, benim çantam yeşil. But not to repeat the word, you can say senin çantan mavi, benimki yeşil. Okay, I hope it's clear. Now, let's see another example. Let's imagine that you are talking to your friend about your exam results. Okay, your uh, points, the marks you get from an uh, get from an exam. Okay. Benim notum düşük, seninki yüksek. So I say benim notum düşük. Here, not means mark the points you get from an exam. Okay. Benim notum not. Benim notum. Benim notum, benim notum düşük, seninki yüksek. So I talked about myself, now I'm talking about you, your uh, score, okay? So I say seninki yüksek, seninki yüksek. Benim notum düşük, senin notun, senin notun yüksek. You already know the rules. Seninki. I indicate that senin notum. I am talking about your score. Benim notum düşük. Seninki yüksek. So, düşük means low. Okay, low. Yüksek means high. Low, high. Düşük, yüksek. Benim notum düşük. Senin notum Yüksek. Or seninki yüksek. Okay, I hope it's clear. Now let's see another example. So our last example is Bizim tatilimiz uzun, sizinki kısa. Bizim tatilimiz uzun, sizinki kısa. Now I am talking about our holiday, okay, our vacation. Bizim tatilimiz. Tatil means holiday or vacation. Uzun. Sizinki kısa. Uzun means long. Okay. Or depending on the sentence, it means tall. When we are talking about a tall person, we say uzun. Or if we are talking about our holiday, which is long. Okay. We again say uzun. Okay. Sizinki kısa. Sizinki kısa. Kısa means short. Okay? Bizim tatilimiz, our vacation, our holiday is long. Yours is short. Sizinki. So, sizinki here, it means that. It shows that I am talking about your holiday. Okay? Sizin tatiliniz. Bizim tatilimiz, sizin tatilimiz. Or sizinki. Okay? I am talking about sizin tatiliniz by this word. Bizim tatilimiz uzun. Bizim tatilimiz uzun. Sizinki kısa. Bizim tatilimiz uzun. Sizinki kısa. So I want to repeat the vocabulary items I mentioned in the lesson, in this lesson, okay? Kitap. Kitap. Chanta. Chanta. Yüzük. Yüzük. Not. Tatil. Tatil. Kalın. Kalın. Ince. İnce, mavi, mavi, yeşil, yeşil, düşük, düşük, yüksek, yüksek, uzun, uzun, kısa, kısa. 
So that's it for this lesson. I hope everything was clear. This is a simple subject, I guess. But still, if you have a question, please ask me in the comment section below. And if you have any friends who wants to learn Turkish, Turkish, please share this video with them so that maybe they will learn few things from this video. You can help them too. Thank you for watching my lesson. See you in the next lesson. Bye bye.